Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 43. We are continuing our training inside of the Designs applet today, and we're going to stick one more day with print-based assets. Today, though, I'm going to show you a multi-page asset, how to create a postcard inside of Designs. We're going to look at what happens when you've got more than one page and then some nuance with regards to printing postcards specifically to make sure that they print correctly or that you save the correct copy. So let's go into the designs applet and we are going to create design. Now important to note that yesterday's flyer is now inside of our design library. So we now have two assets. You can see one is our video here. The second one is print. <clears throat> you can also see why it's important to name that asset correctly so you know as the library starts filling up which one's which so let's go into create create design print asset <clears throat> and let's take a look at postcards what happens when there's more than one page and then when we want to use these postcards what's the best way to save those so let's come into listings just listed so here's our listing category our just listing subcategory we can see all of our assets across the top and we have already selected standard postcards. So these are gonna be six by four. Uh, know that you also have the four by six. So these are just the tall ones, right? Just kind of flip your postcard on its side. But for now, we'll stick with standard postcards. Let's go with this just listed one here down at the bottom. So um, you can see as I'm hovering over this postcard, immediately it's showing me the front and the back. I know it's a two page design because I can see this little number two in the top left hand corner as well. So let's click on use for this design. It's going to bring up the editor that we took a look at yesterday. Now a little bit of difference on this actual postcard design, the photo actually takes up the entire background of the image. So we can click on this image. Sorry, it was taking just a little bit to load there. So we've got the background image. Let's go over to our images. And you can see that we can choose to remove background, we can reposition, or again, we could go to the KWS. Let's search for that listing we were looking at yesterday. And we're gonna change out that image with an image of our property. So, 2422 two, two, Fawn Lake Circle, there it is. Let's just say we wanted to go with the lead photo, the front of the house, right? Now this is a background, so you can see I've already clicked on it, and you can see, again, our circular arrows that'll just change out the photo. Then we can come in here, obviously we've got our text boxes. This one is actually three text boxes stacked on top of one another. So we would wanna go into each one of these and change out those text boxes. Once we did that, we would have the front done well, but there's always a back, right? So if you see over here where it says pages in the bottom right, we wanna click on that button. We get a little drawer that slides out from the right and we can now select the second page. We can close that drawer or kind of slide it to the right by clicking on these double arrows. And now you can see we've got the ability to bring in additional information. Now it's really important on these postcards that all of this white space over here on the right hand side be left alone. This is essentially where your address label is going to be printed. We do not want to put anything inside of this white space. So this is where you could come in and you could put in your headshot. So we go into images and my assets. I could just drop in my headshot real quick there. Then I would fill in each one of these text boxes. So my name, my real estate team name, website, phone, and email. I could get my app link. I would change out the logo. And then if I wanted to, I could change out this text if I choose to, but I don't necessarily need to. So once I've got those two pages fully edited, I've got page one edited, I've got page two edited. Now it comes time to download these. I wanna make sure that I come in and change the title. So again, this would be our 2422 Fun Lake Circle. And I might put just listed PC. And I might even put the date, 12, 12, 23. All right. So <clears throat> I spelled font like wrong. There we go. 
Sorry about that, guys. All right, Fond Lake spelled correctly. We're gonna go to download over here on the right-hand side. Now there's some things here that we need to pay attention to. So first of all, we do want the PDF for printing when we're downloading these postcards. So PDF for printing. We do wanna make sure that we include the bleed and it needs to be 0.125. So we need to make sure that this check mark is checked and that we're using a manual bleed of 0.125. The other thing, especially if we're gonna use these postcards inside of campaigns, which we talked about on day 29, we need to download the front separate from the back. So we do not want to download all pages. We're gonna download page one. Whoops, download page one. Oh, there we go, all right, page one. And you can see that's gonna go through and save. It's downloading here on the bottom left. And then we're gonna click on the button again. We're gonna to go to all pages. We're gonna to go to page two this time, deselect page one and download page two. If you'll recall on day 29, when we went through postcard campaigns, we talked about how you had to upload the front separate from the back. That's why when you download postcard designs, you wanna download page one separate from page two. So when the time comes to actually upload them in your campaign, you've got a graphic for the first page and a graphic for the second page. So again, remember if you're dealing with a multi-page template, you just wanna keep an eye on this page button here at the bottom right and make sure that you're adjusting all of the pages that are included in the template. In addition, when you're downloading postcards, really important that you separate the front from the back when it comes time to upload. And that's also true for most printers. They're gonna want you to send a front copy and then a back copy. That's it for today, guys. Day 43, introducing a multi-page design inside of your print assets for just listed. Obviously you could do just sold, you could do client party invites, anything along those lines with postcards. But now you've got a little bit better idea of how to create, download, and then print those postcards in the future. Hope you're having a fantastic day as always, and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.